Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a scrolling ticker tape effect. So what do you mean by a scrolling ticker tape effect? Well, let's say for example we have this image and we have text that is kind of scrolling uh, at the bottom here. This is uh, kind of like something that you would see on TV news channels where they have maybe a stock ticker symbol scrolling across the bottom of the screen. We can do this with just regular sentence text. And this is one, this one, this example just stops here. Here I'll show another example. And this one kind of goes and scrolls across the screen but it loops. It doesn't, it just doesn't just stop. It just stops and then it goes again. So this is another example of something where we can show uh, in a slideshow where it just kind of goes continuously. This next example is showing the scrolling ticker tape uh, animation for the text and one's going in one direction, the other one's going in the other direction. This also loops so it's continuous until you go to the next slide. So I'll show you how to create uh, these type of scrolling ticker tape effects. Let's go into a blank slide now. Let me go ahead and stop this. We just go ahead and click the new slide. And I'll give a new slide. I'm going to click two new slides. So I have that available there. And let's say I'll just, I'll just take this picture here and copy it over. Command C, Command V to paste. And the first example, I'm going to go ahead and just take the text here. Go ahead and select that whole text. Let me make this a little bit smaller so I can see the whole thing. And I'll go ahead and select this. Control A to select everything. Control C to copy. And go here. I'm going to go ahead and insert a text box. Go under the drawing group and go ahead and insert a text box. Let me just kind of draw this out here. And then Control V to paste. I had that text. So I'm going to go ahead and resize the text box a little bit so it can all fit in one line. Let me go ahead and bring this up a little bit. Uh, let me, there might be a, a paragraph break, so I'm going to delete anything after that period. And so in this case, what, I'm, what I need to do is I need to go under animations and then click fly in. So it's going to fly in. By default it's going to fly in from the bottom to the top. So I want to have this effect ac action go from the right. So it's going to fly in like that. So you notice that now it's kind of, uh, if I go preview, if I click preview, you notice it's pretty quick. So maybe I want to increase the duration a little bit longer. Maybe make it like, uh, let me make it four seconds for now. Let me go ahead and click preview here. You can see that it's going across here. So it's not a, a bad pace and it ends at a pretty, uh, pretty good place. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and kind of move it up, maybe move it up a little bit here. And maybe move that the them that were to the end a little bit away from the edge here. So I'm using my arrow keys and I'm just kind of moving it up here. And you'll notice that the font size here, if I click on this and go back to the home tab, you know the font size is at 18. You can make it a little bit bigger so when you put it in the slideshow view you can see it. So if I go ahead and click the slideshow view here and I go ahead and press the uh, button here to start it, you'll see that it's going by pretty quickly. You might want to slow that down. But this is the first example of the uh, scrolling tape. Let me go ahead and press escape to get out of the, the slideshow view. Now the second example is actually creating a different type of animation. So I'll go in here, let me go ahead and click on the animations tab and instead of having it fly in, these, these uh, the color kind of tells you it's an entrance animation. If I go click the drop down here, you'll see that we have different animations types. Entrance, emphasis, exit, and the last one is motion path. And that's what I want to choose for my second example is the motion path. And I want to have the motion path as a line. So when I click on that, you'll notice that by default it's going to go and go from the top down. We don't want that. We want to go ahead and change that effect app option and click it from the left. So it's going to come in and it's going to go that way. So you notice now if I click on that, you see that it starts here in the green and ends here in the red. So basically you would have to do some adjustments here. Uh, what we want to do is we want to select on that. And if we just select on that and you see the, the two-sided arrow, we want to click there. But you notice that you know you have to kind of make it a little bit more fine-tuned in, in the way that you have uh, use your mouse because if you kind of have it go a little bit up and down, you'll notice that you know there's not really a kind of fine-tuning. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo that. What you want to do if you just want to have it go in a straight line and not have to worry too much of moving your mouse is press the shift key and now it turns in now you hover over the green arrow, it turns into a two-sided arrow, and now you can move it. So like if you move your mouse up and down, it will just stay at that straight line. It won't go across. So this is some fine tuning that we have to do here with this arrow. Maybe I wanted to have it start here. And so when I have it start there, that's going to be the, the length of, you have to think about the length of your particular slide. So if it starts here, you want to think, where does this part uh, begin? 
So I think these are the, the increments of the measurement of the slide. Uh, I think these are inches um, or whatever units of measure that you're, you're defining your particular slide. So you have to think about when it starts here, how much of this is going to, the, the the is going to move over here. So when you play it, let me go ahead and play this, you'll see that if I press the space bar to start it, the the starts kind of starts in the middle and then it kind of ends here. So let me go ahead and press escape. You have to do some modification. Maybe we don't want it to end here. Maybe you want it, we want it to end a little bit so the them kind of sticks there at the end there. So I'm going to go ahead and press the shift key and then kind of move this over here. Maybe I want it to end over here. So if it ends over here, let's go and see what happens here. Let me go and press the slideshow and go and press the spacebar to get it started. It ends over there a little bit. So it's a little bit of fine tuning of where you want it to start and end. I'm going to move it down a little bit more. And you just have to play with this a little bit. Go ahead and press the slideshow view and go and press the space button to get it started. You see now it kind of ends there kind of nicely. So if we wanted that to loop, what we need to do, and press escape to get out of that, is we need to get into the uh, animation pane, or we can get to the effects options. But I'm going to go into the animation pane and go under and click the drop down here for this particular animation. Go under effect options, and go under timing, and I'm going to have it repeat. And repeat it until the next slide, until the end of the slide. So I'm going to click OK and then go back into the uh, slideshow view. You will now notice if I press the space bar to get this started, it's going to go ahead and loop. So it's going to continue until you get to the next slide. So let me go ahead and escape to get out of that. So that's the scrolling one. So if we want to create something like this, where we have alternating scrolls, I'm going to go ahead and let me just go ahead and copy one of these. Uh, let me go ahead and control A. Oops, yep, so I've copied that. Control C to copy, go down here. And I want to create another text box. So I'm going to go under Home, go to the text box, and then just create a text box here. And then Control V to paste. And then go ahead and backspace to get out of there. Let's go ahead and bring these out a little bit more so it all fits into one line. All right, let me go ahead and kind of close that up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and center this too. If I click on that and go and center, it's going to be centered, and I want to have this text box centered too. So once it's selected, I'm going to go into Format, go into Align, and have it align center. So that's centered right now. What I want to do now is I want to create that same motion path. So under the animations, I'm going to go ahead and click on the drop down, and go drop down here, go to the motion path line, and click on that. And now you notice it still does the default where it goes from the top to the bottom, and I want to change that. I want to change it from the left to the right. So now I want to have that there. So also what I want to do is I want to increase these again as I did earlier. So we have to kind of press the shift key and kind of move it and see how it looks. Let me go ahead and move this one, press the shift, and you see the two arrow edit headed arrow here on the ending point. The red is the ending point. Let me go ahead and play that and see how that works. So that uh, was a little bit too far out. I want to have it end over here, so I'm going to press escape and maybe have this, press the shift here and take the green and have it, maybe have, oh, press the red here and maybe I want to end it a little bit further back here. And then press the screen show again, slideshow, and then press the space bar to have it start. Nah, that's not that bad, press escape. Maybe move it a bit, a little bit again. Whoops, let me go ahead and press the shift and kind of move it over here. And, and in a way, you really don't need to do this if you want to have it loop again, because it's just going to go ahead and start over. But let me go ahead and press the uh, slideshow and see how we do here. And maybe I want to have that lorem ism kind of start right over here, not have it start in the middle. So I'm going to have it start. I'm going to go ahead and press the shift and kind of move this in a little bit here. And go ahead and press the slideshow again. And let's see what we have. So maybe I just want to make this a little bit smaller. Uh, make this a little bit smaller, press the shift, kind of oops, press control undo, press the shift, and then make sure it turns into a two headed, two sided arrow. Maybe make these a little bit smaller. Want to make them a little smaller, we'll go ahead and use the slideshow view again and press the space bar to get it started. So that's not that bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and have this loop. So, so we go ahead and go into the drop down here, go to effect options and also have the timing here where we're going to have it uh, 
play until the end of the slide. And also maybe you want to increase the speed on here, so or make it slower. Maybe it's going a little bit fast. So the duration, we're going to kick it up to probably about eight seconds. And then maybe I'm going to have this start not on click. Maybe I just want it when I go to the when I get directly to that slide instead of pressing click, I'll just have it start automatically. So that's with the previous. So let me go ahead and press the slideshow view, and you can notice now that it's kind of moving nicely low cross, not too fast, not too slow, and it's going to repeat. It's going to loop again. So it's going to go, once it gets to the end, it's going to go back again. Let me go ahead and press escape to get out of that. Now what I want to do is I want to create a bunch of these. So what I want to do is I want to select that, select this, and then press control D, it would duplicate it. So I press control D, it would duplicate that. I'm going to use the arrow key to kind of go down a little bit and go to the left. So the arrow keys on the keyboard and go down a little bit here. And so what I want to do is, instead of having this one move from the right to the left, I want to have it go the opposite. So when it, this is selected, I'll go under Effect Options and click on Reverse Path. Once I have that done, if I go ahead and press the slideshow, you'll notice now it's going in opposite directions and I have an alternating direction of the movement and it also loops too because I copied it from the previous one. So let me go ahead and escape get out of that. Let's make these colors a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, Control A to select everything here. Go under Home and to change the color, uh, we had green earlier, we'll just change it back, change it to green too. And now we have two alternating ones. So you can keep doing Control D to duplicate it. So we want to select both of them. I'm going to press the Shift key and select this one and then select this one. See, now they're both selected. And just press the Control D. It will duplicate that. Use the arrow keys to move it down. And then maybe move it across with the left arrow key. And what I want to do is I want to keep duplicating this. So I'm going to go ahead and press Shift and select all of these. And then Control D to duplicate again. And let me go ahead and use the arrow keys and move it down here and then the left arrow key and move it right and then maybe I want to select some more. I'll go ahead and press the shift key. Let me see if I can select out of here and select everything here and it didn't let me do that but let's try the control A and it did select everything so what I can do now is just press control D and it duplicated everything. Go ahead and move the arrow keys on the keyboard, use the down arrow and kind of move it down here and then move it to the left with the left arrow key and let's see how that looks. All right, so I've got a lot of things here going on. So I have a couple lines here, and what I want to do is I want to center everything. So I can just press Control A to select everything, go under Format and Align, and I want to have it distributed vertically. So it's going to distribute everything vertically. So it's going to start with the top and the bottom, and it'll distribute the spaces for, um, kind of kind of in equally. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So now it's kind of done that. And now let me see. Let me go ahead and preview. So I'll go ahead and click on the slideshow. And we've got our moving uh, text, one's alternating, moving from left to right, and the other one's right to left. And these are also looping, so it's going to keep going until you go to the next slide. Let me go ahead and escape out of this. So there you go. There's a couple ways that you can create a scrolling uh, ticker tape effect. The first example was using the fly-in animation, and the second example was using, let me go and click on this, it was using the motion path. And we had alternating motion paths here where we can also loop it. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.